Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility on Wednesday, New Review Day. Today, we're going to take a look at the uh, brand new album from an outfit that's calling themselves Nataraja. Spirit at Play is the name of the album. This, of course, is uh, all instrumental jazz rock fusion, I guess you can call it, right? Although, as of uh, record time, the lineup that appears on this record has kind of uh, imploded. So let me read you a little bit what it says here. This music is an attempt to consolidate my love and respect for the Indian classical tradition with my deep connection to the electric guitar. The vast majority of melodic material is directly based on sitar repertoire interpreted into a new form of expression. That was written by Jack Jennings, guitar player and mastermind of the band uh, in 2023. And uh, in the band on this album, Jack Jennings on guitars, Andy Edwards on drums, John Jowett on bass, and Richard Charles Boxley on modular synthesis. Uh, so, of course, you, you know Andy Edwards and John Jowett, right? We've had them on the channel before. Andy's got his own channel. Uh, Andy's a drummer extraordinaire, multi-instrumentalist. He's got solo records. He's played with Robert Plant and IQ and all so frost and john joe it's been you know iq and arena and all sorts of other projects so both very much rooted in the prog world here doing some cool fusion with uh, jack jennings and richard charles boxley we've got uh five tracks in total on this album so they they've kind of side one and side two as you can see here so side one is called macrocosm Three tracks there, Rag Sarang, Soul Shard, Rag Jog, Ganges Delta, and Spirit at Play, uh, the title track. Side one of this, <clears throat> or the first three tracks, is all blistering electric jazz rock. Basically, take away the violin and the you know wild, uh, nimble runs of Jan Hammer. So, so basically, take out Jan Hammer and uh, Jerry Goodman from the equation. Although, like I said, you do have some synth stuff from Richard Charles Box on here, but it's just played in a different way. Um, and so take the Mahavishnu Orchestra with just basically like, you know, bass, drums, and guitar. You know, a little bit of synth, obviously. That's kind of like Side One is all about here. Just blistering, blistering stuff. Cra you know, Jack is doing all sorts of wild McLaughlinish type stuff on the guitar. Uh, you got the crazy rhythms underneath. You know, Andy's doing a great job on here. The, the whole really, really tight stuff, but just loose and chaotic. So it's weird. I just said tight stuff, but then loose and chaotic. Rhythms are just kind of like, every, you know, they're pulling everything in, but it still feels kind of loose. But man, the guitars are just flying all over the place. <clears throat> guitar solos left and right. Uh, the, the first piece is just so good. Rag Sarang, Soul Shard. <laughs> crazy just savage stuff here and that continues on through the next two tracks i'd say the macrocosm side one of this these three pieces is reason enough to get this really really cool stuff just uh yeah wild stuff um that just grabs you right off the bat over on side two, so that's macrocosm. Then microcosm is side two. Got two tracks. You got uh, Rag Malkons, Sac Dark Sacred Night, and then Rag Hansadwani uh, Vinayaka. I don't know if I'm saying any of that correctly. That is much more laid back and sedate, kind of like um, Shakti type stuff, where you have instead of the fast and furious, kind of like Mahavishnu Orchestra stuff of the first couple of tracks. This is more kind of laid back. Uh, kind of, it's more acoustic in nature, even though he's still playing electric guitar, but he's utilizing some cool acoustic tones and some sitar tones on here. Uh, definitely not as much a vehicle, you know, you know, Andy and John not having as much to do on this second tra uh, side, the second set of tunes. You got the kind of modular synth kind of going, droning in the background over which you hear Jack doing these kind of like, like I said, acoustic guitar and sitar type sounds. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Not my favorite tracks from this set as a whole. I prefer to hear the the blistering, crazy jazz rock stuff of the early on, but still pretty neat, you know. And and at you know the thing is too, at uh, the album's just under an hour long, so you get like extended pieces here for the most part. And for me, you know, you know me and sitar, I like it in small doses, but uh, you know 
to hear lengthy pieces with kind of the sitar droning or the sitar sounds droning on and on. It starts to wear on me a little bit, but I can appreciate the musicianship, right, of course. And uh, But like I said, there's enough on here that I really like a lot to, to have me, you know, prompt me to highly recommend this. I think it's really cool. So now for the bad news. Uh, as of like a couple of days ago, uh, Andy and John had both announced that they were no longer part of this project. Uh, due to musical differences, so I guess Jack is, if he's going to continue on with this, he's going to do it with different musicians, so where this sits right now, I don't know, but there is an album for you to check out that I think is pretty damn good, so, uh, and you can get this over at lasercd.com, Ken, uh, Ken Golden brought in a, a whole bunch of copies for folks who are interested, so if you go to lasercd.com, you can go pick up a copy of Nataraja, like I said, if you like instrumental, uh, early 70s fusion, it's got the Indian influence, it's got the jazz rock thing going on, uh, lots of blistering guitar player, this guy is a serious, serious guitar player, lots of good stuff here, uh, great musicianship, First side, first half is all blistering electric stuff. Second side, a little bit more of acoustic in nature, right? So that's kind of what you get here. So go check it out. I'm going to give this... Uh, I like the first side so much, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 because it's that good. Uh, I do like the side 2, you know, the second batch, of second, the last two tunes. I do like them. I don't like them nearly as much as the first three, but the first three are killer. So go check it out. Nataraja, Spirit at Play. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we've got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I'm P. Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.